Hello everyone. Today we'll walk through the process of installing Proxmox VE on VMware Workstation for testing purposes. Before we begin, let's take a quick look at today's lab setup. We'll be creating a new virtual machine on VMware Workstation and installing Proxmox VE on it. Open the VMware Workstation and switch to full screen mode. Simply click on Create a new virtual machine on the home page. In the new virtual machine wizard, choose Typical configuration and click Next. Select the downloaded Proxmox ISO image and click Next. Set the guest operating system as Linux and the version as Debian. Now, name your virtual machine and select its location. Enter the disk size, select Split Virtual Disk into multiple files, and click Next. Review the information and click Finish. Now, power on the virtual machine. During boot, choose Install Proxmox VE Graphical Mode and hit Enter. Read and agree to the license agreement. Select the target hard disk, and if needed, adjust file system and hard disk options. I will not change hard disk settings for this lab and click Next. Insert country, time zone, and click Next. Enter the root password, email address, and move on to network configuration. Insert DNS name, management IP address, and gateway for the Proxmox server. Finally, insert DNS server IP address and click Next. Review summary details and click Install. The installation will initiate, and we'll need to wait for it to finish. Once completed, the system will prompt a reboot. After reboot, we can access the Proxmox server via the web UI. Let me show you how. I'll log in to my client computer and enter the Proxmox server's management IP with port 8006. Enter your username and password and click logging. You've successfully accessed the Proxmox Management Console. Now you're ready to explore the features and capabilities of Proxmox VE in your virtualized environment. There you have it, the step-by-step -step guide on installing Proxmox VE on VMware Workstation. If you found this tutorial helpful, don't forget to like and subscribe for more tech tutorials. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.